it's kylie welcome to my channel this is the weirdest intro i could ever make but yeah i'm at the er and i can literally hear the baby crying beside my bed and i'm telling you i'm actually crying with her hi guys i'm at the hospital right now it just gave me antibiotics i'm having a hard time breathing so that's why i'm wearing oxygen right now and i'm having abdominal pain my doctor needs to observe me at least 24 hours i think maybe i'm gonna stay here for 24 hours right now it's actually september 30. this is our room that's the toilet we have the other table some just something and then there's a drawer over here and the hospital also gave me a kit that kit right there and one and then that's our hospital bag i actually called my doctor earlier around 10 a.m no around 9 a.m i told her i'm having a hard time breathing and that it's making me so weak and dizzy and so she told me to come to the clinic and so I did. After she checked me there, um, she told me she needs to admit me so she could observe because upon her checking, my breathing is fine, but then my heart rate is fast. So that's why I'm here. And also late earlier at the emergency room, they already did ECG again. They had this that's just on and also the oxygen. I'm actually on my 33 weeks of pregnancy. My doctor did an IE earlier. Thank God her service is still closed. She thought I was having contractions. They also took some blood, the blood testing. They also did skin to skin. The staff just got out. She did an ECG for the baby. We're still waiting for the results. I'm alone right now because I'm going like home to get some stuff that we needed in here. And I'm also very hungry. He's out. I wasn't able to take a video earlier, but yeah, that's what's been happening right now. It's currently 2.45 p.m. It's Friday. I innovate in my bed. Okay, so she's informing me my oxygen is great and to not stress and worry so much because that is also one of the reasons why I can't breathe. And here is another heartbeat check for my little man. Here is another BP check, pulse check, and everything check. Did I pee? Did I eat? Did I poop? And everything like that. And also temperature check. Okay, another everything checked. And I'm telling you, they do this every hour. Like every hour. Literally. But that's great.
okay this is what the ecg looks like for your baby bump this one actually takes time unlike the ecg they did with me on the emergency room and this one is the clearer look of what it's actually looking like Good morning, you guys. It's our second day in the hospital. I want my new textures right now. We actually changed that earlier this morning. And I'm wearing an adult diaper right now because since I'm pregnant, I always pee. So they said I shouldn't be standing a lot. Yeah, a quick update. After all the lab that they did, the blood, the urine, Thing, the ECG. Um, my ECG is normal. They also did an oxygen, I don't know, something. And they told me it's 98%. So it's good. And my urine test is clean. My blood test is what my doctor told me uh, earlier. She came here and she told me my blood had bacteria. So that's why she's giving me antibiotic through this. I've been taking antibiotics since yesterday, three times a day, and I had already my first antibiotic today. I need to check me at least again 24 hours if the medicines they're giving are doing something. I need to stay here a little longer, I guess. I'm alone right now because Cameron had to go to the billing to pay for the ultrasound so we could have it today because we didn't have that yesterday because the doctor is not available or there's no doctor. Also, the nurses just informed me that they are doing a pelvic ultrasound and the nurse told me to keep my bladder full for the pelvic ultrasound and I don't know if I should pee right now. I don't know. Are they gonna do the ultrasound this early? It's just... It's currently 8 in the morning. Almost 9. So yeah, I, we just had our breakfast. And I am here sitting because I'm full. I don't know what, what else to do. I'm, I'm bored, tired. My tummy. It's so hard since 4.48 this morning. Yeah, I had a abdominal pain then i adjusted my position sleeping position and then did good i did sleep the pain disappeared i cannot stand up i cannot do anything so i look so pale right now the doctor told me that's why i'm having this it's because of uh, the bacteria of my blood and i don't know how i got the bacteria because i was bed resting so let's see what will happen today the baby is fine though they monitored me every hour they always come and go every hour check to have my bp i think that's great and yeah my doctor will fly today that's why she came here early to inform me about my situation but she's gonna leave she'll come back tomorrow and we will do another i think blood test to check if everything's good and if everything is doing great i can be released so let's hope for the better because i don't want it here it's like a little jail with restrictions with with assistance i don't know i don't i don't like it here it looks so pale the oxygen is in level three okay she is removing my dextrose She's taking some of my blood for another blood examination. So he actually sleeps with me and we fit ourselves in this tiny single bed. I actually got hungry so that's why I'm eating. That's the spaghetti the hospital had for me. It's like the ration they have so. It's actually very late so I don't want to wake him up just to get me food so I did it myself.
after eating i went to bed and yeah see you tomorrow hi boys good morning so i no longer have my dextral skin they also took another blood from me for another sample so let's wait for that but i'm still on my oxygen because you know the drill Okay, now she's checking the baby's heartbeat and that's me enjoying my cloud nine while watching TV. Okay, a heartbeat moment for my little boy. Hey guys, okay, my doctor told me I'm discharged. She didn't come. Uh, she instructed the nurses that I'll be discharged. I think all the results are good. So it's a Sunday. 
so it's understandable she can't come, but it's waiting for Kima to come back. She's downstairs. Checking our bills. Oh good. Going home. Okay, that's our bill. My medicines. And we're home. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next one. Bye.